think what we are seeing is the great evolution in the economy, in technology, in science. And you need to be able to adapt. I think every student needs to be able to adapt. For example, if you graduated 15, 20 years ago, you really need to be able to kind of update your knowledge base regularly. And I think these kind of programs are really allowing for that to happen seamlessly. In 2001, 2002, General Motors is establishing engineering centers, manufacturing centers around the world. So the question, of course, naturally came up was, can we have technical education supporting the regional centers around the world? GM is providing a wonderful opportunity through the TEP program. They have very wisely invested in their own people. So no other companies in the world has such technical education program. I can say they're very confident. They keep them creative, keep them well grounded in what's available maybe outside of General Motors or other technologies. Because that's uh, investing for the future, right? That's where the future automotive engineering is. So hopefully the new degree will open many opportunities for them in the future, both within the company and also in terms of technology being others by interfacing with others. This place is an incredible demand on their time and they understand the benefits that they can reap. They're going to balance work, life and academia. I did have the experience as a part-time student. A busy eight hours at work. I leave and take the three-hour classes and I go home. My wife wants me to paint the basement or change the diapers, it was hard. <laughs> They'll be as busy in different ways, continuing to contribute, continuing to better themselves through enrichment, educational and otherwise, but they don't tend to set this aside. They'll transition that academic demand to societal demand or professional demand. I would expect these folks to be the future leaders in automotive and in energy systems. And I think what it means to be a trained engineer you need to be on a cutting edge of a number of different technologies. You need to be informed about environmental impact on what you're doing. You need to be informed about energy efficiencies associated with the processes you are, you are, you are part of. And you also need to start thinking about the manufacturing side, the scale-up side of what you're trying to, to develop. We can build, let's say for example, a great battery that is, or demonstrate a battery that has great discharge capacity, recharge capacity, but if you can't manufacture it, you're done. You, you know, it needs to be both something that can be economically produced and effective in its engineering application. So we spent a lot of effort delivering or designing the degree and also incorporating the various partner universities, uh, their offers for the courses uh, from around the world. Together we worked to formulate an initial curriculum and then that curriculum evolved with the changes for the need in the automotive industry. GM, in 20 years from now, will be quite different in terms of their technical expertise and kind of products they make. It'll continue to change. So we can have a, a particular curriculum this year and that might actually change for the next year if we see that whatever we have today is not meeting uh, what we need to have at this moment. So we will put together the most cohesive and effective uh, curriculum for different type groups of people who wants to specialize in uh, like a manufacturing the system integration or powertrains. Manufacturing for automotive needs to be integrated with the global aspects and energy systems are one of the top three challenges that face us as a global society. The current challenge I think are many right so energy sustainability and all those so I think the transportation industry use almost one-third of the energy. Ten years ago, you wouldn't have seen courses on batteries and hybrids and controlling advanced powertrain, but now you do. You know, within you know, a couple of years, we responded to those uh, demands of our, from our students and from ourselves. So this component of uh, adaptable curriculum is also very critical, that I think is unique to the program that we have. So if the next generation is, let's say, algae fuels, I guarantee you there will be an opportunity for you to learn about the chemical engineering associated with deriving those fuels. I think it provides this, this breadth that we really don't have in any independent field of engineering or science today. Probably I emphasize a little too much about the curriculum, 
but don't forget about those independent research projects. We have uh, many faculty members who are working with auto industry and they are developing some new ideas into the next generation vehicles. Many projects were based on the research of faculty members, uh, in particular I think with energy systems engineering, with manufacturing and so on. So I think students were dealing with state-of-the-art research topics in their capstone projects. Now ultimately you could see some of these projects being pushed in a long-term collaborations between GM and the University of Michigan where you really try to tackle a concrete specific problem on a very deep level and try to solve it and, and, and uh, basically design a product or process. Every General Motors student completes a uh, value-added assessment of their engineering capstone project and those have amounted to millions and millions in savings at General Motors. So it's a program that has absolutely paid for itself. And if these students continue to motivate and doing the work they are doing, this will be able to create many, a lot of savings for GM for many, many years to come. I think that the content that we provide is a high quality content. And I think if you graduate with an ESC degree, I think you'll be well positioned to rapidly progress in your career. I think the game program transformed GM just like the name said, the student body is global, the class itself has global elements in there, both in the process and the systems. At the end, they are trained as a much better engineer, they are very skilled and ready to be the leaders and best as a Michigan graduate. Yeah. And now we have educated so many who are taking leadership roles at General Motors. So uh, someday we see many who are chief engineers, assistant chief engineers. I think it would be great to see many of those being graduate of the Michigan engineering programs. Every graduate of these programs is a graduate of the University of Michigan, so we engage them to make sure that they realize that they are a member, card-carrying member of our alumni when they graduate and card-carrying members of our student body when they participate in the program. So again, we're very effective, I think, at engaging our student population as a member of the University of Michigan community and all the advantages that the university has and how we can bring that to bear. Well, I think having the U of M degree definitely uh, make you part of a great network around the world. For Michigan graduate, we expect to be leaders and the best. Uh, as a leader, I expect you to be a leader of your project the leader for your team, and the leader for the company. For the best, you need to maintain yourself on the top. Um, so at the end, I will offer you a warm congratulations. Congratulations on your graduating from the energy systems and the game programs. That is a wonderful achievement. I would like to congratulate you. Uh, I feel that you've done uh, Excellent job. Yeah, my wholehearted congratulations for those who are graduating. I know it was not easy. I know for many of you, this has been a multi-year commitment, and I appreciate your perseverance. Uh, it's a commitment that you and your family all made. I think uh, the degrees will take you long distance. We, of course, wish you the best. I hope you will continue to engage us here at the University of Michigan as alumni. I will work very hard to uh, have these relationships ongoing and, and, and I want to assure you that the doors of University of Michigan are always going to be open to you. This is a really truly win-win for University of Michigan, for GN, as well as for you as a Michigan graduate. On behalf of the faculty and staff at the University of Michigan College of Engineering, congratulations.